Hello everybody, today I'm at Feldman Chevrolet taking a look at this 2023 Chevy Malibu LT. This guy has a 1.5 liter four cylinder engine and a CVT transmission. Starting off up front, we are gonna have your uh, projector and halogen headlight and incandescent fog light group. Massive low profile grill with your Chevy bow tie right up top. Coming around to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have some Goodyear uh, Assurance tires, and the tire size is a, if I can find it real quick for you guys, let's see here, a 225-55 R17, really nice 17-inch Chevy wheel. Chrome Malibu badging on the door panels, color matched mirror caps color match door handles as well with your passive entry on the passenger and driver side door. The capless fuel fill port is on the passenger side of this vehicle. Coming around to the back, we have this really nice LED and incandescent tail lamp combo. Your LT badge is gonna be above the head tail light on the passenger side, and the Malibu badging is gonna be above the tail light on the driver side. Chevy bow tie in the middle, and then your backup camera is gonna be below that and to the left. Very sleek, minimalist style third brake light up top. This car is very, very sleek. Very tastefully done with the chrome. Not too much chrome. I think for an LT, it's just the right amount of chrome, especially up front with the grill. Let's take a closer look at the interior and warm up just a bit. All right, so starting off over here on the driver's side door, we have this really nice kind of cloth material, uh, very soft, uh, perfect for an armrest right here when you're driving. All your window controls are gonna be right here. The driver window is automatic up and down. All of your mirror controls are gonna be in front of that. Right over here, we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, LCD screen in the middle, and then your fuel level and engine temperature above the LCD screen. Working our way to the steering wheel, we have this kind of plasticky, rubberized feeling steering wheel with mild bolsters at 10 and 2. Right over here on the left side, we have all the cruise control buttons, as well as your collision alert gap adjustment, and your lane keep assist button. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have the steering wheel mounted call controls, and then the control pad for the center LCD display itself. Coming to the touchscreen display, very responsive. This is the um, older generation of UI. I believe it has wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. You can control the audio from here, the phone. This does have a 4G LTE connection. You can also control the climate from the touchscreen if you'd like. Pretty cool. Underneath that, we have all the physical buttons for the touchscreen itself push button start and then again this cloth material continues throughout the interior. Under the physical buttons for the radio you have your automatic start stop off. And then we have your hazard light button. Under that you got your dual zone climate control with heated seats which is very nice on a cold winter Michigan day like today. Under that if you can see it I don't know how well it's going to come through because there's no light under there but you have a USB-C USB auxiliary jack in a 12-volt uh, outlet. Nice size change storage tray right here. Two cup holders, shifter with um, manual plus minus on the side, electronic parking brake, and then another little storage cubby right here. Perfect size for the key. That brings us back to this really nice soft leather wrapped uh, armrest that doubles as a storage compartment. Decent storage down there. And there is a little cutout in there for business card storage. Cloth seats in this LT. This guy's glove box is going to be right here. A lot of stuff in there. Pretty big glove box for this size of vehicle. Coming up top to the vanity, it's going to be incandescent lit for the passenger as well as your driver. Up top on the headliner, we've got the master LED dome map light buttons as well as your SOS and OnStar buttons, and then your non-dimming rear view mirror. So overall, I like the interior. Um, it's an LT, so it's a little bit more on the, the closer to the base trim, 
but I think you get a lot of decent features for being an LT um, trim vehicle. So with that being said, let's take a look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have. So with the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I have maybe four or five inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. Um, no pouches on the driver's side seat, but pouch on the passenger side seat, which is nice. Air conditioning vents are gonna be right there. And then under that, on the right side of this column, you have a 12 volt uh, outlet. Decent sized cloth seats. Right here we have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. Your hanger hooks are gonna be on both passenger and driver's side. And then your incandescent LED, or incandescent map lights, I should say, not LED, are gonna be up top in the middle. Decent amount of room back here. Um, unfortunately for me, I am just a little bit uh, too tall. Uh, my head barely touches the headliner because of the swoop back um, style uh, of the design, I should say. So taller people, if you're about six foot tall, you may just touch the headliner a little bit. But other than that, it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, the seating angle is nice. It's not uh, too upright and it's not too uh, uh, kind of reclined back. So decent, uh, decent back seat. Let's take a quick look at the trunk. So you can open the trunk with the key or you can come up underneath the bow tie and push the button. It'll spring open for you. You get tons and tons of cargo space in here. Uh, not as much as the old Crown Vix. That was insane. But you do have a decent amount of storage. Donut spare right there. And these seats do fold down, giving us access to more cargo space if we need it. When you're done back here, you can just slam the lid shut and you're good to go. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's the sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2023 Malibu LT. Sterling gray metallic exterior color 1.5 liter turbo dual overhead cam four cylinder and a trans continuously variable or a CVT Standard equipment is going to be all right here for a standard vehicle price of $28,100 Optional equipment is going to be right here. We do have just one option It looks like which is a floor liner package dealer installed for 295 bucks after some destination charges, our total MSRP is $29,490. Fuel economy rating is right here. This vehicle is rated at 27 miles per gallon city, 35 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 30 miles per gallon. Four door sedan for under $30,000 is pretty sweet, especially in 2023. I'd like to give Feldman Chevrolet a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2023 Chevy lineup, I will be posting all of the contact info in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date on more vehicle walkthroughs, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and please be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.